everybody, I'm Sandy. And I'm Debbie. We're, We're from, from the Normal Paranormal, Paranormal Group. Group. And today it is Five Things, Things Wednesday. Wednesday. And today we're going to be talking about curses. curses. And this is not just about dolls or things like this. We're going to talk about the Winchester curse. We're going to talk about the Cubs curse. The Cub curse. We're going to talk about the bot. I mean, the curse of the Bambino. Yes, and we're going to call. We're going to talk about generational curses. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the curse of the Hope, Hope Diamond. Diamond. Yes, there's so many things that have curses. I mean, uh, who would think? Not we're not talking just like dolls or music boxes or material things like big powerful yeah curses not tiny curses yes like one person to another this is like huge yeah i mean look at for instance the winchester house who would think yes i was just watching it the other day and thought okay you know they said spirits told her to do this and she believes that her family was cursed from um medium psychics that she was seeing and that started the beginning of the Winchester house. And she was plagued with that her whole life because she believed in one thing that it just enveloped her whole life. Yeah, so that she's got to make uh, different passageways, all these doors. It might lead nowhere. It might lead somewhere, but it might lead nowhere. And do you think everything is found yet? No. Actually, to this day, they're finding new rooms and new passageways and stairwells. It's so sad that she was haunted by this curse. All right, the next thing well, everybody knows, of course, is the Cubs curse. The goat. Yep. Billy Goat. Who yep. would think? He's, he's... Billy Sanis was the owner in 1945, brought his Billy Goat to the park. Well, guess what? I mean, you could probably bring your dogs to the park now, but you couldn't bring your billy goat. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> who would think? And what happens? He was angry. He put a curse on the Cubs. That's right. Yeah. So they would not win. It took him decades to win. You know, you, you, you could go into the billy goat go tavern. tavern there. It's not cursed. No, no. It, it, there's not even a ghost in there. <laughs> no. No, no, no. But that's the other thing. And the other one... Who would believe the curse of the Bambino? You know, who would think? And he was traded from Boston to the Yankees. And who would thought that they actually? Who would think that he that they they charged him with uh, putting a curse, a curse on, him. on them? And he was finally like in nineteen nineteen when he was traded to the Yankees. And he put a curse on the whole Boston, so they took it seriously. All of Boston. All of Boston, so he figures it took him 85 years to win. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they actually, uh, they, they decided to uh, drop the charges. Yeah. Who, in 1919, you know? Who, who would think you could get arrested? For a curse. For a curse. Oh, my God. Who would think? He had to be cleared from that. And generational curses. Yeah. Well, I, I'm one that believes in generational curses. Yes. I really do. I think the sins of the father go on to the children. I really believe um, that back then... They practiced that they, stuff. I mean, this is... It goes back to the pagans and that. Yeah, I mean, back then, if you did something against the family, you were cursed. Yeah, you had witches who put curses on you. You had the gypsies. Family, yeah. You ever hear of the Italian curse? That's why they wear the little Italian, Italian horn, horn and the fingers that go down. Yeah. So if someone puts a curse on you, it goes straight down to the ground instead of sticking to you. So it, it's it's crazy, but yeah, I believe in generational curses, and mm -hmm. and I think it takes a lot to break a generational curse. It really does. I'll post a um a prayer for that one. Yes, definitely. I will post a prayer for that one. And last but not least, who would think the Hope Diamond? It was stolen in India from a, um, the idol Sita. Mm -hmm. And um, it was stolen during the French Re Re Revolutionary War yes. in uh, 1792. 
so that uh, there was a curse put on it because I said this belonged to a an idol, uh, that, a religious idol, a religious idol that they worship. That they worship. So bad luck followed this diamond. Even the mailman who delivered it died. It was sad. It was just uh, sad things. So do you believe in curses? I mean, I'm not talking again dolls or objects you have in your house. Well, I'll give you a short story. Uh, my mother worked at the racetrack and there was a gypsy woman there and she got upset with my mother for something I can't remember. And she said, I put a curse on you. <laughs> and my mother laughed at her. So my mother won a lot of cash that night. And when the gypsy woman uh, came back, my mother says, could you put another curse on me? And showed her the money. And the woman walked away mad. Yes, uh, there's. I really do believe there's people that can put a curse on you. But then, it all depends on the individual if they believe in it, and they may believe that they're cursed. Well, we in our Italian side, there was curses, yes, and and my mother's side, they practiced um, sort of like witchcraft. I would call it like witchcraft. Yeah, and. And my grandmother performed some things. Rituals. Rituals that were on the negative side. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's good and bad in everything. So, we had some bad in our life that we experienced and some good. Some good. Yes, we could say we experienced a lot of things in our but life. it can't work on you right. unless you believe it. Right. And we did like, no. Nope. Yep. You could just put a shield around yourself. You they, could do anything. But sometimes I think some curses are just... It, it, I understand what they mean by generational curse, where it, it could follow you because if your name, if you did something in your life and that name will have a bad reputation, it will follow not just you, but your children and their children. Yep. So there's something to a name that has a curse on it. Even so, um, they had Valentino. He was a big actor in the 20s and um, early, early 1900s. And... Uh, silent films mm -hmm. and he had a ring that he bought i think from a pawn shop or somewhere and it caught his eye and after buying that ring shortly he died and then um the ring was left left to his i don't know wife or girlfriend or whoever got the ring and they made a movie about him and they gave the actor who was playing Valentino the ring to put on, the actual ring. That night, he died. And they took the ring off, and they don't know where the ring is now. Yeah, so, yeah, be cautious when you're buying objects, objects from, especially, a pawn, from a pawn shop. Especially jewelry. Jewelry holds jewelry, a lot of energy. Energy, because why? You wear it, your rings, your earrings, your necklaces, and watches, watches especially watches. Yes, you know, a lot of that person's energy. Eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. Something that is in contact with, with the human body. With the human body. So think twice when you buy. Holds energy. Yeah, you think twice before you buy something like that. With that, I am Sandy. And I'm Debbie. We're, We're from, from the Normal, normal Paranormal normal group. group. And please tell us. Do you know anything that's haunted? I mean, not haunted, but has a curse, curse on, it? on it. Is or there curses family? in your family? Yeah, curses in your family. Until then, bye. Bye.